how to get that glitter out of the video for you guys. Um, I'm gonna say this. This is a Mock John. I'm Seth Dog Four, uh, known as Seth Martial Art Fitness. I'm gonna be doing a Mock John video. This is known as a wooden dummy. It's mostly used in kung fu. Um, I'm just gonna do a one simple drill. I'm gonna do a thousand drills on it. I'm gonna just show you like a simple drill you can do. Um, this is one of the drills I do like to do. Um, it's basically from Wing Chun. Um, all you do is block, knife hand to the throat, straight punch, straight punch, straight punch. So it'd be block. Knife in, straight punch, straight punch, straight punch. Again, block, knife in, straight punch, straight punch, straight punch. Now, the block is supposed to be for uh, if somebody's coming in, you parry, you, you parry it out of the way. As soon as you parry, you go down. Do the knife hand to the throat. And then you try to trap the arm. Punch, straight punch, straight punch, uh, straight punch. Again, block, knife hand, trap, bam, bam. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, same thing on the other side, it'd be like bam, 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 bam. So, inside parry, knife hand, to the throat, trap, bam, straight punch, straight punch, and straight punch. Or you can just go from the knife hand, the, the block to the knife hand to the other two combos right away. You don't really have to necessarily do the trapping ap after the knife hand, but I like to add it to it because it gives more blocking room. So when another attack tries to come at you, you never know when it will. Eight, nine, ten. And notice, bam, 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 bam. There you have it. As simple as wooden dummy mock John training drill. You can do it. Anybody can do it. Um, if you don't have one, just do it to the air. You know, it could be a form of shadow boxing. This is how um, Wing Chun people stand like this. Um, but since I don't really practice Wing Chun, I did it more like this because this is more practical, not like this. Um, I do use the Wing Chun um, pose um, for my fighting. So it. Again.
Same thing on the other side. There you have it. Just be creative, you know. You know, you don't really have to have any equipment to do anything of these movements. You know, you can do them in the air. That's what a lot of people do anyway. But uh, to me, air is only for speed. Um, if you really want to train for power, uh, build you one of these. It's more cheaper to build and to actually buy one. Um, you can build these out of PVC pipes or wood. Um, but Chinese people use these to train on. Um, karate people are starting to use these to train on. Um, what else? Um, even Thai fighters, Muay, Muay Thai fighters, some of the some of them guys over in Thailand are starting to train on these. So um, it's becoming very very popular to use because of Donnie Yen's uh, Ip Man movie. Um, he brought the wooden dummy back. I uh, appreciate you, Donnie. I give you a thumbs up for um, making it back popular again. Um, I've always liked the old kung fu movies where they do the training on the wooden dummy because they're like training for a real fight. They're imagining their opponent in front of them while they did it. Um, that's how I usually do it on the wooden dummy. So like when I'm doing my drills, I'm imagining that I'm actually fighting somebody. Um, so, um, it's feeling like I'm just doing the drill, just get the motion, you know, I'm actually, in my mind, I'm actually training, okay, bam, 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 you know, I want, I want to get the power shots in, or maybe a kill shot in, you know, or a trapping in, in, you know, and so on. Um, but yeah, um, this is a great tool to train with, um, it helps conditioning your forearms, I do know that, it toughens your forearms, it makes your, uh, forearms like rock, um, like stone, um, when, uh, karate people, when they would train, I remember when I used to, uh, if you can get a partner, um, if you really want to train in, um, Condition for forearms, they would do this, 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 this. It'd be like bam, 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 and then it'll bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. And I mean, they'll just hit each other's forearms. You know, they'll do high walks on the high strike. They'll slam like this. And then it, when you did inner, they'll slam like this. But like if they're throwing the outer, they'll throw like a punch, like, like a hook punch at it. And you would have to block the hook punch um, right away. And then the same thing with the other side. And then and when they did the inner, they would just do this and those hit it with this part. It's kind of like, like, like that. And the middle part. Um, basically, this is how it would be. It'd be. I won't be able to do the high block, but I can boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom.
So there you have it. Just kind of like you know, being creative and everything else. You know, that's the one way of toughening your forearms, you know, arm forearms, uh, and come through training. Almost about everybody I know. Um, everybody I know, they always said I had like iron forearms, like forearms like rock, brick. You know, every time when they would get hit by it or blocking, and they're like, man, you got iron forearms, what do you do for your training? And I said, I just hit a wooden dummy about every night. You know, just for 20 reps of just blocking girls, you know, going back and forth, and I'll do some hang and trapping girls. And everything on it and winch on. So yeah. Does this stuff really work? Yes it does. Um I use it in several fights before and like I said it does work in self-defense. And I made this video a little long. I was only gonna show you one technique, which I did, but I ought to thought I had a little bit more into the blocking drills on what you can do the train for your forearms, the conditioning them, you know, to take blows when you get punch or if you get a kick you know downward blocks to block the kick um outer it could be for like um roundhouses um to crescents round like side kicks uh, you know whatever um same with inner like more for like side kick crescents um to inside punches, um, to high kicks, to the high block, the high gate. And uh, you got the parry. Now this is, this is more from the Wing Chun where it's open hand, like Kung Fu. From the Jeet Kune Do concept out of Bruce Lee style. He does it more like the open hand, open hand blocking. Because it's more quicker than. See, open hand. That's more. It's more quicker. The only thing about it is about open hand. You can always jam your finger. Um, that's the reason why I always tell people to have your fist close when blocking because you never want to break your finger in a fight unless you're trying to grab. That's the only time when you can use the open hand. If you're trying to grab with a punch, or if you're trying to black, grab with a kick, then you can, you know. But um, other than that, there you have it. Wooden dummy training, mock jong, and um, some iron conditioning from Kung Fu, and um, hard style training. And like I said, it's good for self defense training. Like I said, Please hit the like, hit subscribe, train hard, train smart, hit that bell, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to respond to you if you can. And um, if not, don't worry about it. But, you know, it's probably because I'm busy doing something or I just don't want to be bothered. Um, but like I said, train hard, train smart. Do your research. Please hit the like, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. You'll get all my, hit all the bell, you'll get all my videos. And like I said, There'll be more of these instructional videos to come and of the wooden dummy. And I'm gonna go home, relax some more. Um, other than that, train hard, train smart, do your research, get plenty of sleep, get some rest if you need it. And like I said, train hard, train smart, and do your research. God bless. Peace.